New developments in a story we told you about last night at this time. The story involved a family whose son was killed in a car accident that damaged a guardrail, a guardrail they got billed for to fix. Kristen Severance with the Ohio News Network joins us now, and Chris Odot is now responding to this story. Danita, I received a call from an ODOT spokesman in Columbus today. He told me as soon as they found out that this family was getting a bill to replace a guardrail, their son had crashed into decapitating him. They vowed to cease those letters immediately. The spokesman also told me that he called Mildred Mathis and personally assured her she would not be getting any more bills. Mitchell Mathis crashed into a guardrail in Brook Park in March of this year and died. His parents Parents then started getting letters about owing ODOT $853 to install a new guardrail. They don't have any money and they say their son did not have insurance. Now, we did the story yesterday and today the couple does not have to pay the state. ODOT says when it is standard procedure, when an incident occurs where the state property is damaged and the amount is over $500, they have to send a bill. The people sending out those bills only see a name and an address. They do not know the backstories at all. Now, ODOT they're not changing their policy, but they told me every case is different. And quote, ODOT will work to increase communications between our departments so that a similar situation does not happen again. End quote. And I talked to Mildred Mathis today over the phone. She tells me, quote, it's about time. She also says that she's very relieved. Her and her husband, Earl, are very relieved that they will not be receiving any more letters. Live in downtown Cleveland, I'm Kristen Severance, the Ohio News Network.